Hello everybody, welcome back to Buzzard's Roost. I am Buzzard. Today is Seed Sunday, and the seed this week is Tall Utah 5270 Celery. It is a very dependable dark green celery that grows between 18 and 24 inches tall, and it is a cool weather or cool season biennial. That means it takes two years before it'll go to seed. Uh, same family as carrots, dills, parsley, parsnips. It is a long season crop and will not tolerate heat. And that's why you start it indoors, because usually indoors is cooler than outside. And by the time you get it, uh, you'll have like two weeks before the frost or something like that before the uh, four weeks before the temperature starts dropping if you do it the eight to ten weeks is it was it eight ten yeah uh, before so it'll be able to grow start indoor eight ten eight to ten weeks before last frost takes between seven and twenty one days to germinate soak seeds seeds in water overnight before planting so a quarter to a half inch deep when it has five to six leaves, transplant outside in a cool place. It is a heavy feeder, keeps soil mo moist, space eight to ten inches apart, tie growing stocks together to keep from sprawling. Velcro strips work real good on that, and like you see in the store, it's a straight stock and they're all bunched together. If you let it grow wild, it, it sprawls out, it opens up more. So that's why you keep the heads or the stalks pulled together and have it grow that way. Um, in second year of growth, it will go to seed. Seed's viable for two to three years. And on that, whenever you'll get these little round, like BB sized pods that are full of seeds. And so you can take like a window screen, put it over a container, break those up. Hopefully it's recording. <laughs> this is the third take on it. It didn't save the first two. Anyway, you can, and it'll, the seeds will fall through the screen. Celery is high in nitrates and sometimes used for preserving meats. And you need to do your research on that. Um, when I was looking up more information on celery, there was uh, some that was saying that it was a myth and others saying that they use it. I've watched a couple of videos where people actually use celery as their nitrate in preserving meat. Uh, seeds are great for flavoring soups and stews. They're high in fiber. They have vitamin A, K, and folate. And then there's some minerals in there. So do your research on the preserving meat. That's the only one that that uh, the information I got that seemed to be questionable personally I think I would because the high nitrate content of the celery um, you can also if you used to grow them in like a greenhouse or a protective uh, like cold frame or something like that you might be able to harvest it throughout the winter and then on the second year it, it should produce seeds the bonus item this week is pool shock. Um, half a heaping spoonful of pool shock, which is hyperchlorite or calcium chloride, dissolve in a pint jar. Put in, and when you put it in a pint jar to dissolve it, the inert ingredient in it will settle to the bottom, and then you pour off the top of it. You take that, you pour it into a gallon jug and fill with water. This will be stock bleach. So if you needed bleach, now bottle bleach, I think it's like six months is what it lasts. Pool shock, I buy in the fall after pool season's over with. It usually goes on sale. And then you can take those bags of pool shock and uh, I like to vacuum seal them because it helps just another barrier to keep moisture out of it. 
I've had pool shock between two and four years old that was still real strong in the bleach smell whenever I made some stock bleach. So I, it's a more it's more of a long term way of storing bleach. Um, on using it to purify water, I don't have the I need to write down the drop conversion. You know, like so many like eight drops per gallon or whatever it is. Um, I've got wrote down here one part shock your your stock bleach to 100 parts water. So if you can find pool shock on sale, I'd go ahead and get it and like I said, store it in an airtight container that is non-reactive. Uh, glass would be good. Of course, the, the, they're, they come in a, I think it's a one pound bag. Um, like I said, vacuum seal, it just gives it an extra barrier of protection. Anyway, that's it for this week. Uh, remember, dead fish only follow the flow of the stream. Don't be a dead fish. This is Buzzard. See ya.